In this video, we're going to look at notifications in Spark. We're going to look at this on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Now, why would I talk about notifications? We all know that all we have to do is go to our settings on the iPad and iPhone and then go to notifications, or we go to settings or our system preferences on the Mac, depending on which operating system we have. What well, with Spark, what we have are smart notifications. With smart notifications, what we can do is we can mute strangers and we can mute automated messages. So then it will only notify us when it is from someone that we know as an example. How do we do that? Well, let's go over to my Mac first. In order to set notifications to be smart, the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you receive notifications. So we need to go to my system preferences. I'm using Mac OS Monterey. So I go up to the Apple menu, and then we go over to our system preferences. And then from here, we need to go to our notifications and make sure that we are receiving notifications for Spark. So I'm going to turn this on. Generally speaking, what I do is I turn notifications off for mail. Otherwise, we'd get too many notifications. But with Smart Notifications, it will eliminate a lot of those junk notifications. So now I have it on. I have everything set the way that I want. Now what I need to do is go back over to Spark and for each account I set how I want my notifications to be set. To do that we go up to Spark in the menu bar and then we go over to our preferences and from here what we need to do is go over to our accounts. We have to set this up individually for each account. So I click on accounts and we have my three different accounts here. Let's go to the first one. And from here you're going to see notifications. I basically have three options. I can set it for all. It's going to send me a notification for every email that I receive. We don't want that one. I can set it for smart. This is the one that I generally will use. It will mute strangers as well as automated messages. So I'm not going to receive a notification if it's from a stranger or an automated message. And then, of course, we can just turn it off. So I'm going to set this for smart. Now I go over to my iCloud account and I have to do the same thing. Set it for smart. And I would go over to my school account and do the same thing. So now that I have that set, any emails that I get, if they're not automated, and if they're not from a stranger, I will get a notification. So it's going to reduce all of those notifications that can be received from email. How do we do this on the iPad? Well, basically it works the same way. Let's go and make sure that our notifications is turned on in general. How do we do that? Well, go down to our settings here, and then we go over to our notifications. I need to go to Spark and I need to turn it on. Again, I usually will turn this off, but with Spark, what you can do is you can set it to be smart. So now I have it turned on. Now what I need to do is go back over to Spark, and then I go over to my settings. So I go up to the three lines at the top. We go down to our settings at the bottom, and then from here I need to go to my email accounts. Again, just like the Mac, we have to set it up individually for each account, so I click on it, and then I go over to my Gmail, and then I set it for Smart. This is an individual preference for each device, so it does not sync this across all your devices. So as you know, I set it up on my Mac for Smart, on my two different accounts. Well, as you can see, I had to turn it on here for Smart for this account, and when I go back, I need to go to my iCloud, I need to turn it on for that one as well. It does not sync this preference across all your different devices. Because on some devices you may want to have it on, and other ones you may want to have it off, or other ones you may want to have it on smart. So you don't really want to set this up to sync. So you have to set it up individually for each device. So let's go and set this up for my iPhone and see how it works. So I go to my iPhone here, and we need to make sure that we have our notifications on. So I go to my settings. We go to notifications and then we go over to Spark and we turn it on. Now what we need to do is go over to Spark. We need to go to settings. I tap on the three lines in the upper left hand corner. We go to settings and then we go to our email accounts up at the top here. I tap on my account 
I set it to smart, I go back, tap on the next account, set it to smart, and now those two accounts will send a notification when it is somebody that I know, when it is not a stranger and it is not an automated email. So that is how we use notifications and why we may want to use notifications in Spark on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. In most cases, what I will recommend people do is turn notifications off for mail. You get too much mail and you're going to receive too many notifications. It's going to be a distraction. But with Spark, what we are able to do is turn on smart notifications. When we turn on smart notifications, we will only receive mail that is not from a stranger and it is not an automated email. We do have to set this up for each individual device. So on the Mac, you'll go to Preferences, Spark's Preferences. On the iPad and iPhone, you'll need to go to Spark Settings. So that is how and why we may want to use notifications in Spark on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone.